Hey, what's up and welcome back to another great Ohio Nerd toy hunt. Let me tell you how nice it was to finally find some stuff on the pegs. Nothing crazy here at the Motu, but it was great to see Man at Arms. He's not one I find at my local stores, but the usual crew was there for the rest. Now they had a few of the Into the Spider-Verse Marvel Legends, but not Miles Morales. He is one I'm looking to pick up. Really, really, really like that movie. Uh, and I'd really like to add him to my collection. Now, for the Predator figures, I know people are loving these Lennard figures, and I gotta say, they are a great callback to the Kenner days. Uh, and I gotta say, I'm gonna be picking these up too, probably. I picked up the Aliens in the past, and I'm looking to probably pick up the Predators now that they have those. One section that was lacking was the Godzilla and the G.I. Joe. Uh, my local stores just never seem to have a good selection of those. Now, these were super cool. You know, I like the retro figures, but I don't like how exact they are to the old ones. These Power Ranger figures, I think, are the perfect balance. They have that retro look, that retro play, but they're not the exact same. You can collect these and collect the old ones. You can collect one or the other. It doesn't take away from the other. Next up, I hit up GameStop. I received a promotional email from them saying that, you know, clearance was an additional 50% off select items. So I, of course, had to get in there and check those out. But none of the items I wanted or even were interested in slightly that I looked at had the additional 50% off. The lady at the register told me that, you know, she didn't really know what was up with that. She said it was probably just a very few things and they just said that to get me into the store. Well, it worked. Uh, but they did have some really cool things to check out, even though I didn't find any good clearance deals. Five Below here had some cool like bootleg ninja toys. Uh, some people really love the, the bootlegs, and some people really love the ninjas. I thought that was kind of a cool crossover. Now Five Below also had these Transformers, and I dare say I'm pretty sure they had the whole line of these, which is pretty cool, like, at least the whole wave that came out with this wave. Um, Transformers is something that I always think is pretty cool to check out, and for $5, I think that's probably a great pickup to your collection. You know, they're not the most complex Transformers, but they're still pretty cool, and you can't hardly beat it for $5. Nothing too new here with the Star Wars collection. They had the same uh, Rise of Resistance figures here, with the Last Jedi figures mixed in. Uh, I don't know if they'll ever get rid of these Last Jedi figures. I mean, they've had them literally, it seems like, forever now. Hopefully they clearance these out or something. I would love to see some new Star Wars figures on the pegs there at Five Below. Now these Super Mario toys were new, at least in my area, by Jax. And they were pretty cool. I figured I'd show you guys here. They had a really good selection. The Blue Yoshi was my favorite. Uh, but if you're looking for those, hit up your five below. Now, forward on to Target for the NECA figures here. The Chucky and Tiffany, that was my first time seeing that in person. Really cool to get to check that out. But what I liked the most that I saw the NECA was this Wild Stallion set. Really cool. I don't collect any of these figures from this line or this style. But if those go on clearance, it's going to probably hook me in on it. Because I really like the Bill and Ted and I think that set is very cool. Now they also have these pretty slick Harry Potter Lego sets. I love that they looked like books. That's something that I might collect too. I really like Lego. They have this awesome D display right here with these helmet collection. The helmet collection is a line I really appreciate being able to see, uh, but it just hasn't got me into it yet. You know, I collect a lot of the Lego sets, but it just it just hasn't got me yet. And it's, it's probably gonna get me here eventually if the prices go down on those, but I don't think they will. So I think I'm gonna be able to avoid those. The wrestling section here at Target, they had some cool stuff. I was really digging this Undertaker figure. That's my first time seeing him in stores. And now on to Meyer. Meyer here had a pretty halfway decent Transformers section. Most stores I go to seem to have the Transformers hit very hard in my area. So it was very nice to get to check those out for once in a while. Marvel Legends here, uh, nothing new, lots of old stuff. My guess is these are going to have to go on clearance here eventually. They've just been hanging around forever in my area. Uh, they had some cool ones though. I really like this one right here. I hadn't seen that one for a while. 
or really ever in the wild, but it's really cool to check that out. Now, for the Black Series, they had the 40th Anniversary AT-AT driver, and they had the Lando Calrissian, but nothing crazy with that. They had the Leia stuck in a different area, which is pretty cool. Um, six inch Black Series here, you know, nothing crazy. It's the same old, same old. Now, they had the re-release wave here for Star Wars. I really like that 3PO. Uh, I'm just trying to bite the bullet probably and buy the original rather than the re-release. Now I personally don't find anything too special normally in the Meyer Funko Pop section, but here they had a very nice 40th anniversary Leia Bestman, as well as Joe Perry from Aerosmith. Didn't know they made Aerosmith Pops, they are my favorite band. Would have picked them up, but he had a crush box. So now the search is on for Joe Perry and Steven Tyler, and hoping they'll make the rest of the band. Now on here to the second GameStop I stopped at. They had some pretty cool Marvel Legends figures out. They had that Daredevil there. The Soundwave statue was pretty cool. GameStop's been getting in some pretty nice statues. But they've had a great selection here. They had lots of the Gamer Great, some of the new Black Series. They had the Jar Jar, the 50th Lucasfilm figures. Just all around their action figure selection was pretty good. Very glad I stopped in here. Clearance, nothing too crazy. Had some uh, Game of Thrones Funko Pops, if you're into that, as well as these figures here. And on the other side, we'll get into some My Hero Academia figures as well. Now we'll hit up another Five Below. This Five Below didn't have nothing too crazy. It had sold out of all their Transformers figures. Had the same old, same old when it came to Star Wars. But one thing they had that I thought was pretty cool was they had this remote controlled Radio the Child Baby Yoda figure. And that was pretty nifty. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this and staying tuned to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and may the Force be with you.